people in the car. Or, mm-hmm. yes. You know, you might be outside and y'all cooking out at night and mm-hmm. friends yes. leave or you sneaking over around the corner. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Yes. you don't have that. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. you still like me. I'm I'm 40. Excuse me. You know, mm-hmm. I'm 40, but I'm vital. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I feel like that is what keeps me youthful. It gives me that yes. child yes. Um, type of thing where I won't have to be so serious all the time. Yes. I can be comfortable, have fun, mm-hmm. enjoy myself. And I want that in my relationship. Yeah. You know, I want somebody mm-hmm. that's comfortable with me in a relationship where we can explore mm-hmm. everything. Absolutely. And I don't like to really relinquish control. Mm-hmm. But if I feel like I'm comfortable with you, then I'll do that. And I yeah. feel like with my companion or my mate, I will do that. Yeah. Like, and I want to make sure, like, I don't want him to look at want nobody else. And mm-hmm. if you do exactly. want somebody else, then uh, what? let's talk about it. What, yeah. what do you yeah. like? Um, yeah. And then I'm going to initiate that conversation. I don't want you as the male to initiate the conversation if you want another female in the relationship mm-hmm. because I feel like you may be attracted to that woman and you want her. Mm-hmm. Whereas mm-hmm. opposed to it's something that you and I have that eagle eye and we're like, uh, she cute. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's go talk to her. Let's offer her a drink. But yeah. people don't do that. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and that's why I say with that, you not communication, ca- communicating, excuse mm-hmm. me. And it's also the key to every relationship. I don't care if you're married. Mm-hmm. I don't care if it's a platonic relationship. Mm-hmm. I don't care if it's your boyfriend or your mm-hmm. girlfriend. Mm-hmm. You have to be able to openly discuss mm-hmm. or, yes. and express yourself freely. Yeah, because talking about Kirk and Rashida, he probably never said, well, baby, why you don't cook no more? I used to love when you used to when cook things and do, you know, like, are. that's where the communication come in at. Because I know sometimes, y'all, I be sleeping and I be like, Babe, just be patient with me. I just haven't been feeling good all week. I know you be wanting this and that, you know, because I'm not, I'm not, you know, numb to the fact that sometimes I could fuck up. You know, some Absolutely. people be thinking that they so perfect and right. I do everything right. I don't understand why this, 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 and that. No, we're all human. And right. I know I fuck up a lot, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, I make sure that I know she's aware of, I see it. I know what I'm doing wrong. You know, just mm-hmm. be patient with me. I wasn't feeling good this week or, you know, I was busy, you know, and all this stuff. And I make sure I talk to her about it. Right. But and if I, you ain't telling your mate, how, how they supposed to know? How they supposed to <laughs> fix it if you ain't telling them? True. You know, you didn't even give me enough time to fix the shit because you ain't said nothing to me. Right. right. And I don't want to have to chase you unless we're playing cops and robbers. Okay. Because right. right. like <laughs> I'm like this. I was in a previous relationship where I, f- like, we were... You know, we were having sex on a regular. Mm-hmm. After a few years, it changed. It was so much that changed. And so I'm the type of person that I went to the person. I'm like, so, I mean, what do you not find me attractive anymore? Right. What What is it? Mm-hmm. It's always, oh, it's not you. It's me. Okay, what does that mean? Right. You know what I mean? Can we get into depth? And, you know, they ended up cheating on me. And um, so it started to make me feel like I was insufficient. Something was wrong with me. Mm-hmm. Um, what I came to the conclusion of is if you are not willing to communicate or change, because I'm not the type of person that's going, I'm not regular when it comes mm-hmm. to sex. I like fucking. So you basically fuck this person because you just want it to at it this to. point. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so, I mean, in those situations, it's like, what do you do? I guess you just, you really just move on because that, to me, it's an ego thing. Mm-hmm. You know, you wanted somebody to stroke your ego. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, mm-hmm. I can stroke your goddamn mm-hmm. ego, right. but if you're not telling me <laughs> you need somebody to stroke right. your yeah. damn ego, how the hell am I supposed to know but to stroke your damn ego? Man, no, sis, because I know you. You stroke a motherfucking ego all day, every day. I be uh, like, damn, I wish I had my sis energy. <laughs> goddamn, because I don't have your energy. And I be like, shit, I, I wish I could be like my sis, because, baby, you a stroke a motherfucking ego. Right. Don't be All nonsense. the stuff that you be doing. Yeah. Be so I, 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 I don't feel like that. Do you, you don't watch Love and Hip Hop, do you? No, I don't watch it. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, don't. I don't expect for no, you to right. watch it. <laughs> I don't. I enjoy that conversation. Though. Yeah. <laughs> but how do you, you, you do feel like that? It's just things. Sometimes you might be the problem. Yeah, you could be the problem in, in any relationship. Absolutely. Something like, oh, uh, you just got to, it, it's more of, Communication, you know what I'm saying, or uh, being able to, oh, uh, this is a word for it, I want to say, uh, compromise. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. You know I'm saying, if you can't Perfect compromise, you know what I'm saying, Perfect then it is. It, it's, it you don't need even trying. Right? <laughs> yeah. It's a failure. And yeah. y'all was talking about marriages as far as what, for better or worse, mm-hmm. you know, and if you really go back in the days, you, you might have had, you know, your grandmama or auntie or however messing mm-hmm. with 
somebody else mm-hmm. and, and mm-hmm. they kept it kosher and they kept it together mm-hmm. or they knew that that man might have been out there cheating mm-hmm. and but they were all right for that home. and they might have lost mm-hmm. that. Some people lose that type of intimacy or um, desire mm-hmm. within themselves. Like mm-hmm. they just don't have that desire to have sex no more. And, right. you know, I would rather him just go get it to somebody. I still want to keep him and I settle and we can still have this marriage and everything mm-hmm. looks like it's all pretty and sh- mm-hmm. shit like that. But I'm just like, okay you still not happy, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. you know? So I wouldn't want nobody to cheat on me and then you bring in a baby home and then you have to look at a lot of things like even with sex and intimacy and stuff like that, if you're going to go out and cheat, you got to look at a lot of things. You got to look at STDs. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? You're, you, It's a respect factor. Mm-hmm. You have to respect the household just mm-hmm. like you have to respect yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, I, you're a reflection of me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but in that situation, what really pisses me off is he gave her so much grief when she told him. Her, his wife told him mm-hmm. she was pregnant. Mm-hmm. But you seem so ready to help this young lady out getting her mm-hmm. a whole uh, apartment mm-hmm. and this and that so i didn't i didn't understand that this I is don't, your I, wife. I don't think it that was that hush hush like well, yeah. you know Nick, yeah. i do this for you don't you say right. nothing you know what i'm saying that's what that was all about yeah. and, you know and by her being young it was enough for her not to say nothing right you know it's a lot of women out here that won't even let the other wife know that you know i got a baby by him you know what i'm saying her. Mm-hmm. But I ain't that bitch, cause you gonna find out. Mm-hmm. You ain't the whole world gonna know <laughs> this is your baby. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I don't. This is your child, and the whole world is finna know. Mm-hmm. I'm That's not finna shit up. The, um, side chick generation. So. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and you, like you said, a lot of people okay with being a side right. chick, right? You got dudes okay with being with side dudes. Side too. dudes, right? Because they don't want those responsibilities of being a full time nigga. Yeah. Some yep. don't, but see, you know what I'm saying? Them feelings come into play again, right? That because, you know what I'm saying? Guess what? Way. If I'm a side dude, and then once if I go to call on your phone a few times, or oh, well, not me, because I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. I got children, I'll talk to them. But <laughs> just say, you know what I'm saying? If you call somebody and they ain't answering the phone, mm-hmm. you know they got somebody. The first time it might not bother. Yeah. Because, you know what I'm saying? We just fucked around a couple times. Yeah. It ain't, you know what I'm saying? Or oh, too much going on. But after like fifth, sixth time, three or four <laughs> weeks, we've been fucking. Oh, at first you wouldn't give me no head, but boy, now you let me know what that mouth do. Mm-hmm. And you can have a, I'm going to put it, you know what I'm saying, where it can be with everybody. Okay, just say that that woman that you messing with, she got a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Okay. You can say that you don't care about her having a girlfriend, being mm-hmm. a man. Mm-hmm. And I know what I'm saying, I don't care. Any man want to debate this, we can. Okay. You're going to get in your feelings because after a while, you're going to be feeling like, you know what I'm saying, what I ain't doing that this woman doing, mm-hmm. but now you supposed to have been the smash dude on the side. You supposed to just play your part. Just get the pussy whenever she bring you the pussy. Don't worry about what Sue doing at the mm-hmm. house with the pussy. Just take care of it when, it, when it's your turn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And once you know what I'm saying, get that down packed, then people can move on a little further because I can be the side dude from nine to whenever it's my time to go, and mm-hmm. I wouldn't even care. Because mm-hmm. the only thing I got to do, that means I just got to be Call me Dodd. I'm dick on demand. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me Dad. Call me Dodd. That's people Dodd. I'm here. Do anybody have any questions about that? Was, that was a good one. You I like that one. I like that one. <laughs> what is pound um, <laughs> tender dick? Tender dick yeah. and dog <clears throat> on demand. Hmm. Um, a lot of people just saying that talking about Kirk, um, that Kirk is just a dog, pretty much. Rashida deserved better. Mm-hmm. Um, communication is the key. When you have sex, it's something different when the chick has vested. Um, yeah, because don't get me wrong, y'all. I ain't telling Rashida to stay. But oh, no. it's just, mm-hmm. you know, I, I get to looking at relationships like, did y'all really do honestly, whatever it took to save the relationship. Yeah. Like, that's that's what I'm talking about. A lot of people don't pray with they mate. Yeah. They don't read the Bible with they mate. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, if I could pray by myself, why I can't pray with my mate? You see what I'm saying? Like, y'all y'all just don't understand. I'm, I'm real old school. I might talk a lot of freaking stuff, but that's the, the first thing. When we, when we get the mess up, I be like, I be like, babe, <laughs> like that's the first thing. Let's let's hold hands and call on the Lord. Like when, found- that's- when your foundation is strong, it don't matter how you build that house. One, two, three bedrooms, mm-hmm. two baths, whatever. As long as your foundation is still set in stone, that communication, that spirituality together, um, you know what I mean. You have to be strong together before you can build anything else up. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. Just, I mean, that's just what it is. 
Well, let's get on on the next topic. Look, cause he over there looking. Look, them trees got him. <laughs> man, look here. Shout out when to Four Twenty. Shout out to Op- Optimus. <laughs> Bob Marley. I know, right? Yes, to Bob. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, uh, we we'll back to me about this. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna introduce our guest. Miss Verena Hendricks, mm-hmm. aka yeah. Sunshine, hey. like off the movie uh, Harlem Nights. Y'all remember that? Tell your mama ain't no. <laughs> yeah. That's Miss Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Miss Sunshine, I got a question. Mm-hmm. It's like, uh, what is what is your take on fetishes? We know, know what I'm saying. You spoke a lot about them. Uh, do you have any fetishes? Like, people want to know. Sure do. I want to know, Luke. <laughs> Hello, me too. <laughs> Yeah, well, let me see now. Thank y'all for having me here on the box. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm 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 a little reserved. You know, I um I am um free when it comes to my sexuality, comfortable with my sexuality. Um, fetishes. I know people have fetishes, and I've run into some strange things, and and just seen some strange things that people like as far as a sensual aspect of pleasure and mm-hmm. a desire and a need of and a want to, you know, get some type of satisfaction out of it. And um just in talking, you know, people ask you, well what is your fantasy or this is that and the other fetishes and stuff like that. Well, in my forty years, um I've come to say that one of my main fetishes is um voyeurism. Mm-hmm. So I like to watch this is- <laughs> yes. I like to watch, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got four wives for this. <laughs> I got six of them. I got so, so six. what what would you like to watch? Well, I, I mean anything like um penetration, masturbation, um Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> undressing, girl, in front of me. Let me watch you bathe. dancing, you know, yes. you can, you know, just yes. a way that yes. you um do some type of gratification to, you know, please the person <laughs> and let them know, like, okay, like, you know, I want to give you some strawberries and chocolate and you want to feed it to them or I might want to patter you or something. You can patter me, you mm-hmm. know, or, you know, just touch. Touch is a, a great fetish, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, you have some extreme fetishes like um, Nostalingus, <laughs> you know, but which is arousal to, you know, sucking a person's nose. You know, <laughs> there are it. tons of fetishes. You have a, um, and, there's, and then there's a common one, which is pedophilia. Yeah. In a- and um, people like feet. You have people that like feet, like to look at feet, suck your toes, or some men might like for the, um, the feet to touch up. their phallus. Mm-hmm. You know, per se. Um, Can you break that you down a little bit? A phallus. Okay, I'm sorry. A phallus is a penis. Mm-hmm. It's a, another um, conservative way to say um, dick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let them ask the motherfuckers know. <laughs> let me get you my yeah. <laughs> yeah, he might be proper. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you might want to get your R. Kelly on, and you might have a Europhilia, so you might like to be peed on and. Like urine and stuff like that, um, but um, people have that for real. Yeah, they really, they really do. Mm-hmm. In regards to the feet, you know, um, and then what really freaks me out is the necrophilia. Um, necrophilia is basically an arousal to corpses, mm-hmm. you know. I'm, and yeah. I've heard stories that are way like extreme, where you know people been caught um, having sex with dead bodies, mm-hmm. and and then like that's I said with fetishes. I don't mind fetishes. I have, I'm a non-judgmental person. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do think that there are lines and boundaries, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. when you come to that. You know what I'm saying? Um, because some people can be too extreme and, mm-hmm. and it's not on a level of maturity with adults where we're acting, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. But you might take it to the extremes and pull in other people. Mm-hmm. Maybe mm-hmm. they're younger and I totally yes. disagree. Yes. Yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. With things of that nature. Um, and then um, you have a... Um, Sadism, which is causing physical and psychological pain, and some people like that that dom mm-hmm. dominatrix. You know, um, I don't mind being dominated. I'm I can say that I'm submissive, so you know I don't mind being a submissive, but then I am an aggressor too. Mm-hmm. Um, I like men and women, mm-hmm. but I love men, mm-hmm. so I. <laughs> Like Lil Wayne say, play with the pussy or play pussy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, in that um, aspect, I just think that, oh, and another one is a pubifolia. 
pubophilia. Pubophilia, yeah. and and that's a person don't like you know a person that's clean shaven. You ain't got to shave it all the time. They want to see like Pimp C say that hairy pussy yeah. asshole. <laughs> <laughs>